Alright, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a donation GUI so you can receive donations in your Roblox game by players being able to open a little menu and choose how much they'd like to donate. So, the first thing we're going to do is make a screen GUI in the starter GUI. And I'm just going to turn on, ignore GUI inset, and I'm going to call it donation GUI. And then in this donation GUI, I'm going to add a frame. And I'm going to make the size 0 0.5, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now I'm going to make the anchor point 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And then I'm going to make the position 0 0.5, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So it's in the middle. And then in fact, I'm just going to change this to be 0 0.6 high and 0 0.3 wide. So 0 0.3, 0, 0, 0, 0.6, 0. And now I'm just going to make it look a bit nicer. So I'm going to add a UI corner. I'm going to add a UI stroke and I'm going to add a UI gradient. And then in this frame, I'm just going to add a text label and I'm just going to make it 1,0, 1.2,0. And then in fact, no, I'm just going to resize that slightly. And then I'm going to make the background transparency 1. I'm going to turn on text scaled. I'm going to change the text to donations. I'm going to make it bold. And I'm going to leave it as Source Sans Pro. And now, in this frame, I'm going to make another frame. And I'm going to call it Donations. And this time, I'm just going to make it 1,0,0.85,0. And then I'm just going to move it down so it's below this Donations bit. And then I'm going to make the background transparency 1. And now in here, we're going to make the, make the Donation buttons themselves. So, we're going to make one for 5 Robux, one for 10 Robux, one for 25 Robux, and one for 50 Robux. Or, but you can make it however much you want. So, in here, I'm going to add a text button, and I'm going to call it Donation. And then I'm just going to make a size, so 0 0.75, 0, or 0 0.2, 0. And then I'm going to make the anchor point 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And then I'm going to make the position 0 0.5, 0, 0, 0, 0.25, 0. In fact, no, I'm going to make it 0 0.125,0 on the Y. And then, in fact, I'm also going to change it to on the Y, on the size, on the Y, I'm going to make it 0 0.175. And then I'm just going to take all these UI corner, UI gradient, and UI stroke. I'm going to duplicate them with Control D, and I'm going to put them in this donation text button. And then I'm just going to make sure the UI stroke is on border. And I'm going to go back into my text label. I'm going to turn on text scaled. I'm going to make it bold. And I'm going to put how much Robux it is. So Robux uh, 10. In fact, no, I'm going to do 5 for this one. And then I'm going to duplicate it. And this time, I'm going to put it at point 0.375. And then this one, I'm going to make 15 Robux. And then I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to put it at 0.625. And then I'm going to change this one to, I don't know, 25 Robux, and I'm going to duplicate it again, and I'm going to change this to 0.875. Now I've got all the donations, I'm just going to make this last one 50 Robux, and there we go, These are this is our GUI. So now, in each of these donation buttons, I'm going to add a int value, and I'm going to call this value product ID, and I'm going to duplicate it each time, and I'm going to put it in each one, and then I'm also going to change the name of each text button to the amount of Robux. So 5, and then 15, and then 25, and then 50. So just so I can tell which one's which in the Explorer. So now what we're going to do is make the developer products. Now what a developer product is, is it's essentially just a game pass that can be bought multiple times. So how you can make one of those is if you find your games page on the Roblox website, and then once you're here, if you just click the three dots and click on configure experience and then you can go down to developer products and you can click this create new button and we're going to make four developer products or however many buttons you've got so for me it's going to be for five one for 15 one for 25 and one for 50 so i'm just going to make one for five i'm going to call it five and i'm going to make it five robux and then i'm going to make one for 15 again name 15 and price 15 and then I'm going to make another one for 25, make it cost 25. And then a final one for 50, and make it cost 50. And now here, we've got these IDs. So this is what our, this is what we made that product ID in value for. So what we're going to do 
Let's go through each of these. So for five, I'm gonna copy this ID value, and then I'm gonna go back to Roblox Studio, and in this donations, in the text button for five, in the product ID value, I'm gonna click on it, and set the value of it to the number I just copied. And then I'm gonna do it for the rest of them. So 15, copy this number, put it in the product ID value, and then for 25, copy that number, put it in the product ID value, and then finally for 50, I'm going to click on this product ID value, go back to the website, copy this 50 product ID, go back to Roblox Studio and paste it into the value. So now we can just close all these and in this donations thing here, we're just going to add a local script and I'm going to call that prompt script. And now in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say local MPS equals game colon get service marketplace service. So what this is doing is it's just getting the marketplace service from Roblox. And now what I'm going to do is loop through each of these buttons so I can tell when it's pressed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say for underscore, I'm a button in pairs, script.parent, colon, get children, and then pair of brackets, and then I'm going to say do. Uh, first of all, we need to make sure it is a text button because we don't want it to include the script. So how we're going to do that is say if button, colon, is a, then a pair of brackets, a pair of speech marks, and text button, then we can say button dot mouse button one click colon connect function and then in here what we're going to do is we're going to say local product id equals button dot product id dot value because that's the value that's the int value we put in each of these buttons product id and so this is the product id and then we're going to say MPS colon prompt product purchase and then in these brackets the player that we want to prompt it with so that's also game dot players dot local player and then a comma and then the product ID so that's just the product ID variable we just made so now what this is going to do is it's going to loop through each of these text buttons and it's going to say when they're pressed prompt the player to buy each donation but currently this is just stuck on our screen so what we need to do is make it so we can press a button to open this and close this. So in our donation GUI, I'm going to now add another text button. I'm going to make the size 0 0.25, 0, 0, 0. I am going to, again, go into this frame that we already made. I'm going to duplicate the UI corner, UI gradient, and UI stroke. And put them in the text button. And again, I'm going to make sure the UI stroke is on the border. I'm going to make sure that this has a name, so I'm going to call it open button. And then I'm going to go to text scaled, I'm going to make it true. I'm going to make the text bold, and I'm going to say donations. And then I'm just going to put this button in the middle, or you can put it wherever you like on the screen. And now what I'm going to do is in this donation GUI screen GUI, I'm going to add another local script. And I'm just going to call it open frame. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say script dot parent dot open button dot mouse button one click colon connect function, and then in here, what we're going to do is we're going to say script dot parent dot frame dot visible equals not script dot parent dot frame dot visible. What this is saying is whenever this button's clicked, if this is currently visible, make it not visible, or if it is currently visible, make it not visible. So now I'm just going to go into this frame. And I'm going to make it not visible. So now, when we load into our game, it won't be there. But when you click this button, it will be. And one final thing we're going to make sure is that in our game settings, under security, enable studio access to API services is enabled. So now if we go ahead and play our game, you can see that when I click on this donations button, it opens up our donations GUI. And when I press on one of these buttons, it'll prompt me with the right product ID. So would you like to buy five? You can buy each one. So 50, it's 50. And whenever someone buys this in your game, you will earn Robux. So that was how you make a donations GUI in Roblox Studio. If you found this helpful, then please subscribe. Anyways, I will see you next time. Goodbye.